Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 72 of Let's Platinum God of War. Alright, let's continue through here. And we go, yeah, and this one as well. Oh, here. Okay, so we go to the left. I want to try and remember where this is. Let me just punch some stuff. There were some hack silver pots in the previous room that I didn't punch because, well, I, technically I did punch, but uh, I like punching stuff. <laughs> um, but I stopped recording uh, yesterday and is the next day. Alright, another mini cutscene for this elevator. Boy, before when you saw. I didn't see anything. You did not see me with someone. An old man. What old man? Can we go? Yes. Very well. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna talk about that in a bit. Let's get back to Midgard and see about making that key. Where's that dwarf? <laughs> All right. So we need to get back to Midgard so we can talk to uh, Sindri or Brock about um, how to make that key. Uh, but before we do that, we're actually gonna head to Alfheim for the final time. So luckily Alfheim I think is just on the right here. I was so confused by this, I was like, what's this scene referencing? It's the Niflheim um, cipher key. So now we have access to Niflheim. I'm not gonna go to Niflheim just yet. If we go right to the once, uh, if we go right to the once, if we go right once, uh, or to the right once, we can head to Alfheim. So let's do that first. The reason we wanna go to Alfheim is because Alfheim is the home of the next Valkyrie. Cowhead. Why did you not tell us Balder is the son of Freya? He is! It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. But when I think about Balder and Freya... Mimir? I... Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? Ed, tell me Balder's vulnerability. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely! I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy, or back when I figured out Baldur's weakness. I'm here! Yes, lad? You just said you figured out Baldur's weakness. Did I? But Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. <sighs> Enough. This means there is a way. If he troubles us again, we will find it. <laughs> That's one of the best. That that became like a meme. It's like, but Balder is blessed with all <laughs> invulnerability to threats, all threats, physical and magical. Okay, Brock is here. However, we can't talk to him about what we want. Uh, we can do a few other things though. Let me just check something. I thought so. So I completely forgot to do this, but yeah, the travelers that I was defeating were not dropping their stuff. So I just got 10 and 36 for armor shards and grizzly trophies respectively. I want to quickly talk about that because I forgot to actually mention this um, many, many episodes ago. <clears throat> Back in the Lake of Nine, there was a traveler that I defeated. In fact, it was one of the first ones. And I said, if uh, I said, save before you fight him, because there's a chance that he won't drop the items. Uh, I got a comment from oh, one of my viewers who said that for him, the traveler didn't drop the items. He forgot. But then when he went to the shop, he found them in the lost items. So I think what happened was sometimes the game just doesn't drop the items. And as a fix, the developers were like, well, let's just make a lost items tab in the in the uh, upgrade shop, and then you'll be able to get it whenever you want, regardless. So I think that's what happened. Um, all right, let's have a look at the new things we can buy. Um, so we can buy, uh, I thought we already saw this, but maybe, I don't know, something happened. You can uh, generate a legendary enchantment. Another thing I forgot to mention is resurrection stones. Um, you can buy the Berserker's resurrection stone, and I'm pretty sure you can use that against the Valkyries. So if you're having trouble, like if you're getting really, really close to winning, but you just can't finish it off, um, buy a Berserker's resurrection stone to help you out. Um, nothing else here. We can upgrade our, well, the Mythic Brace of, of Clarity, and we can also upgrade the Gauntlets of the Traveler now, and I think I'm gonna do that, because uh, I was looking at my practice file, and let me just see something. So I've got the War Belt, and I've got these. Yes, I am going to actually upgrade the Gauntlets of the Traveler to level five. Very proudly, you son of a bitch. And I'm gonna upgrade to level six as well. 
So I needed all those armor shards to actually get there. You can see the hardened Svart Alphime steel now. I have nine of them. All right, so that's the best I've got now. I, I will swap it with my gauntlet, uh, with my whatever I'm wearing. Oh, is it what I'm wearing? No, it's not. What am I wearing? Oh, I'm wearing tears. Okay, that's fine. I'll swap it in a moment. Uh, we also want to upgrade the Blades of Chaos. Let's do that. Another 15 runic power just for that. I love the way that the they update the graphic on the uh, blades when you um. Oh, and I must have. Oh yeah, I did get the talent upgrade. Talent bow upgrade. Uh, resources. Okay, now uh, because we've opened up, uh, because uh, we upgraded the blades, we need one more chaos flame. And in order to get that, we need the raging inferno of Muspelheim, which we can only get from Muspelheim when we've done a whole bunch of other things there. So we'll do that later. Uh, and then the chest armor. So now they give us um, access to all the Niflheim stuff. So these pieces of gear are very strong. As you can see, they're level seven. Um, they have ridiculous stats on them, like compared to my Blazing Magma Pauldron. So this is just base level. So it has more strength, more defense, and a ton of vitality. No cooldown, but a ton of vitality. Has an interesting effect. Adds a very small amount of constant health regeneration. Stacks up to five times, which uh, I don't know how that works exactly. I guess it just... I guess it just like adds on, but yeah, I haven't, uh, I've used it before, but it's a bit tricky. Um, it also comes with three enchantment so sockets straight up. You need some Niflheim stuff to make it, but yeah. Uh, there's also this one, which is blessed with runic, same effect. And then this one has uh, a little bit of runic and a little bit of vitality. So it kind of like splits it between. So yeah, really, really cool. You can also make these ones, which are less, um, less worth it. Uh, ornate pauldrons of vigor with defense. And this one here has a bunch of different stats as well. Not too bad. Uh, let's just get rid of all these. The gauntlets and all that, the same same deal. And same deal. Okay, uh, so I think we've done everything we need to do. I don't, I can't upgrade that. I'm not gonna upgrade this just yet, the Shattered Gauntlet of the Ancients. I will eventually, probably. What do I need here? Oh, yeah, that's all that stuff. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so let's back out. Now what else do I wanna tell you? I don't remember hearing that one. Okay, so let's have a look at our skills now. So we've unlocked three more skills. Elemental Overcharge. While aiming, hold R2 to charge the Blades of Chaos even further and release a powerful elemental slash inflicting massive burn damage in a wide area. Uh, so let's yep, get that for 4,500. Uh, the Spear of Chaos attack creates a minor fire explosion on contact inflicting burn damage. So I think it's just, yeah, instead of holding it, um, you just you just use it and it just does burn damage. So a little bit of an extra bonus there. And then this is a really good one, Chaotic Rampage. It's similar to the, uh, the Leviathan Axe. Switch stances by pausing momentarily after any Blades of Chaos attack. Once in new stance, press R1 to perform a flurry of close range attacks. Now you might think, okay, what's like, you know, is that really that good? Let me show you. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That was like 20 attacks. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And we're going to use it on a, on our next Valkyrie, which is coming up today. Um, let me just see. Okay, I'm going to switch my tiers. So a tier has Stone of Frost Supremacy, Eye of Fury, and Stone of Frost Mastery. So bang, bang, bang. Swap to this. Stone of Frost... Oh, let's get that one. Eye of Fury, Stone of Frost Supremacy, and Mastery. Stone of Frost Mastery, I think it was. Here we go. So I'll put those on for now. So yeah, our level, our power level is really, really, really good. His power level is over 9,000. Look at that. <laughs> uh, what did I just swap? Oh, yeah. Uh, this one here. Okay, everything else is good. If you have the inscribed Crest of Determination, uh, you are going to absolutely love the next fight because the next Valkyrie is much easier than um, Geardrafal and using the inscribed Crest of Determination is going to be awesome. Ah, uh, Alpine. I missed its gentle breeze and the sweet smell of honeysuckle and blood. Well, judging by the sky, the Light Elves are in control of the light this time. Explain. You see, the Light Elves and Dark Elves are always fighting over the light. That part we know. But did you also know that control of the light has changed hands no less than 213 times? Really? It's true. Each side believes itself the rightful keepers of the light and argue they're simply fighting for survival. But the fact of the matter is, the war has been going on so long, they don't know who they are without it. Okay, for some reason you can read this again, I think. Let me try it. Sir. I don't know why. What does it say? It's about the 
Eternal War for the Light. Do you think it'll stop now after what we did? Unlikely. Okay, yeah, really strange. You can read that again, because I obviously read it the first time. There's the, whatever that thing was called, Engulfing Spear or something? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, this one too. I like this one. Whee! <laughs> awesome. Uh, I don't really use it, but I like it. Um, and you get a little bit of experience here. We're going to fight two Dark Elves. Come on. Switch to new stance. I mean... The tanks, which is a new stance. I don't know why I said that, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, can I hit him? Can I hit him? Where is he? Where is he? Uh, <laughs> nearly. <laughs> oh god. Fuck. Okay. These guys aren't too bad. They're only like level 5, but still. Wait. Uh, boom. Let me see if I can hit him with this. Oh, that was awesome! <laughs> I've never seen that one before. That's cool, I juggled him with the Treyas. Whee! That was probably a bad idea to... Okay, nothing. Alright, yeah, as we go through uh, Alfheim again, we're gonna have a few, like, conversations with Mimir. I, I think, I can't quite remember. Oh, yes, there is one more, yeah. There's at least one more here on the boat. It's a really good one, too. Alright, let's head back there. Clear this up for me. Svartalfheim means land of the Dark Elves, right? Right. But you said the Dark Elves have been here now for a really long time. And anyway, aren't dwarves supposed to be from Svartalfheim? They don't look like Dark Elves. Don't you think so? Then you are vastly more perceptive than the Aesir. They're the ones who apparently can't tell the difference. And they're the ones who came up with that name. Dwarves actually call their home realm Nidavellir. So the Dark Elves aren't from Svartalfheim at all? Not even a bit. They're just elves of another colour. Nobody knows who came first, but they all come from Alfheim. Why do they fight all the time if they're really the same? That is adorable. Huh? It is the way of the world. Oh. Well, that's sad. I love that conversation when, you know, he says something so commonsensical, if I can use that term, um, and Mimi is like, that is adorable, and then Kratos, he's confused, and Kratos it is the way of the world, it's like, it's just how things are, for some reason, you know, people are annoying, <laughs> alright, we have a small fight here, one with a, uh, one of these guys, it can actually be a little tricky, where are you, take that, like that. <laughs> a little tricky, uses Hell's Touch and Grinding Storm or whatever it's called. No. Oh, I didn't even... No. Oh, okay, you got me that time. Fine. No. How? What can I do with you? Take this. Take this. Come on. Hey, it worked. Get out of here. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Try that again. <laughs> Has a lot of health, this uh, level 6 heavy Draugr. Alright, he's dead. Hitting a dress. Alright, cool. Uh, so that's it. I think this guy dropped something. Oh, hello. We got a random enchantment. Jagged Sign of Bounty. Let's have a look at that one. It's probably not going to be any good, but let me have a check. Uh, runic luck, very low perk activation, chance to grant a rage burst when damage is taken. Okay, it's not too bad. Alright, um, let's see if we can... We've definitely got enough time to deal with this Valkyrie. Um, as I said, this one is a little bit easier than Gearful. Um, and if you have the Inscribed Crest's Determination, it'll be ridiculously easy. Um, the moves are similar. Um, there's not too many to learn. Uh, she has this one move where she'll spin in the center, fire a bunch of blades at you, and then uh, she'll fly directly up and she's going to land right on top of you. So all you need to do is dodge to the left or right. I always recommend right. Look at those blades. Look how cool they look. Um, she does the wing swing move where she'll move back and to the left and then she'll charge you, do the double wing swing and finish with the um, 
with the guard break. She also does um, dodges to the right and then charges at you immediately. So you just need to do that to avoid it. Um, just dodge to the right. And there, she's uh, got this weird move where after a lot of her moves, she'll go directly behind you. You kind of have to like turn the camera or you can do a quick turn and then just block, just block. She'll charge directly at you and do a quick spinning move as well to deal a whole bunch of damage to you. So all you need to do is block to avoid it. So let me quickly grab. Uh, I, I think the fight goes on long enough that I'll be able to show off all the moves. Um, I was fighting her during practice and there was only... Like I managed to... I didn't win that particular time. But uh, I was like practically about to win and then she got me right at the end. Um, she did the move where she flies up in the air and then comes straight down on you uh, one time. And it was right at the end of the fight. So I was like, okay, that's interesting. But yeah, you should be able to get everything to be... Uh, I should be able to get everything to be shown. There's a Mystic Gateway. We get that as we walk past. Um, there's also uh, an Odin's Raven here. And it's just in the arena itself. And it will complete our Odin's Raven collection for... Now five, so let's oops. The Valkyrie. Are we doing this? On my action. Okay. So if we have a look here at the map, uh we're missing a single Odin's Raven and the Valkyrie, which is what we're about to do. Um the Odin's Raven is up here. You can get it if you want. I'll probably get it after the fight. Um fingers crossed I can get this, just make sure that I've got everything correct. So yes, yes, yes. Oh, I want to use the talisman of the realms. This is, uh, this is gonna be pretty insane. You're gonna be, uh, one thing to concentrate on this fight, look at my cooldowns uh, on the on the bottom left, watch them come back really, really quickly, if I get lucky a little bit with the uh, moderate perk activation. What is my luck? 62, it's not too bad. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Olren. Let's go. Talisman of the Realms, attack, wait, attack, 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 attack. All right, here we go. She's gonna spin, dodge, so left, now she's gonna do double wing swing, knock out, and then I go like this, punish a little bit, now she's going to do it again. She's not gonna guard break me here, I'm gonna dodge away, right, so dodge once, one, two, three, four, and attack. Good. Dodge left, so she's gonna double wing swing, and then she's gonna guard break, so I'm gonna dodge to the right. I'm gonna do this. I was able to use that again. Talisman of the Realms is already half off cooldown, if you can believe it. So now she's doing that, so I'm gonna do this. I can probably switch to the axe for a bit. Right, so dodge. I'm gonna try this move. I love it. Block, 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 block. She's gonna dodge away, turn her around, now charge at me. I was trying to do this. <laughs> okay. Dodge to the right. Now she's going to charge. One, two, three, four. Change back. Charge at me. Let's use this. Talisman of the Realms is back, unbelievably, so I'm going to try it again. Let's do this. One. Try and do a lot of damage like that. Look at that. Look at that damage. <laughs> And dodge to the right. One, two, three, four. She's probably gonna go behind me. Oh, that was good. No, double wing swing, no guard break. Now go behind me, now charge. Spin. Okay. Dodge to the left, so she's gonna do double wing swing and guard break. Dodge to the right. Change back to axe. Spin. Okay, spin. Left, double wing swing, guard break. Dodge to the left, oh right, sorry. Do this. Good combo. Okay. Left, a wing swing. One, two, three. Yep. Didn't get any of the blessing cool down there. It's annoying, but it's okay. Now to the right, so I'm gonna dodge. One, two, three, four. Charge. Look at that blessing of cooldown go. Awesome. Here she comes. Watch the blessing of cooldown. Nah, I didn't get any. <laughs> Got a little unlucky there. Block this, block this, dodge away, dodge, dodge. Back to this. Let's do it one more time. I'm gonna not do the heavy runic attack. Can she please? Okay, do this. She's not using the uh, leap on me attack, but that's okay. One, two, three, guard break. There. Talisman of the realms. Attack once. Wait for the thing. 
go crazy. We can actually use another bunch of wolves. She's gonna get punished heavily because of wolves. Oh no! They took damage! Okay. <laughs> Jesus, I can't see. Gah! <laughs> Are you kidding me? I got greedy. <laughs> I got so greedy. Oh man, that sucks. That was right there. It was so easy. And I did block, I just it just didn't go through. Alright, let's just do it again. <laughs> Damn, I got so greedy. That fight was going so well. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. And again. And Talisman of the Realms. And one. <laughs> She's like stuck. And she didn't even do her, um, like, land on me move, which was surprising. Alright, so now that I've shown the fight and explained it, I'm just gonna try and win. There we go. Okay, so that's all you have to do. It's very quick, um, so be wary of it, but yeah. I love that one, because if the Blessing of Cooldown goes off, it's awesome. Nice, that's what I wanted. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, good. Da -da 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 -da. Take this. Her last bar seems to take a little while to bring down as well, so be aware of that. And I can't believe I lost that stupid fight. It's so easy and I, and I just screwed it up at the end. But at least it looked cool. Obviously not me dying, but... <laughs> Most of it looked cool. Okay, do this, do this. Wait, wait, wait. Can I do it? Ah, so greedy, so greedy. That's fine. No. I love that. Bell hammer. Dodge. Okay. Always be ready to block that one. Yeah, turning and changing the camera is a little bit better than quick turning on this one when she gets behind you. Okay. Here she comes. There we go. And bang. One, two, three, four. She's gonna dodge away. Charge at me. Okay, <clears throat> one, two, three, four. Good, oh man, that's crazy. <laughs> that blessing of cooldown. Oh, okay, still hit her. Do that, do this. Let's do this. Come on, give me the, thank you. That did not do as much damage as I wanted it to do. Okay, let's hold off. Oh, that was stupid. Oh, I got very lucky there. Press the wrong button combination. No. No. <laughs> Sometimes she seems to get faster, but it's... I think it's just a placebo. Man, if I had beaten her, this episode would have been the perfect length. <laughs> it was like 20 minutes right when I lost. Look at that, blessing of cooldown, I know I keep repeating myself, but god, it's so good. And again. <laughs> Alright, here we go, she's almost done. Let's try this. Uh, 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 uh. One, two, three, four, back away, charge at me. Oh. Uh, I actually almost forgot which one it was. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Can I do the other one in time? That's pretty good. Die! Ah, she's dead. Two, three. Alright, goodbye. Please. There we go.
betrayed me. Who did this to you? I remember only... pain. And my queen, she... locked me down here? But why? Oh, Sigrun. I must leave you now. I must find her. I must... remember. Sounds like your queen is responsible, Head. Aye. When I saw her last, she was different. Changed. And not just that she was in physical form. She was more volatile. She... I tried to talk to her about it, but... She had just come to say goodbye. I didn't think. I'm sorry, my dear. We'll find her. Not sure she wants to be found. I just don't understand why she would do this. It doesn't make a lick of sense. And if she is responsible... Then we'll have to stop her. The Valkyries must be freed, and we are the only ones capable. We? Well, who do you think's gonna watch your back? <laughs> Alright, so we beat Olren, and we got access to a few cool things. This is Evaldi's cryptid, uh, cryptid. Evaldi's Corrupted Mind. It's an epic enchantment with a very unique ability. It says nearby enemies within 15 meters are weakened. Um, that's pretty good. And this is actually really good too. This is the very first Valkyrie piece. Uh, the Waste Guard of the Valkyrie. Epic Waste Armor. A true warrior's armor forged of metals from Valhalla. Uh, Valkyrie's essence favors well-rounded stats. So you can see look how much it's got on it that's insane yes we lose out on a bunch of vitality and luck and a little bit of strength but this is very very useful and i think i'm going to use it i'm not 100 percent sure but i think i'm going to use it the corrupted mind one what does that do actually let me have a look uh it's here so yeah it gives you look look at the, those stat increases like it's insane it's so good i think i'm gonna have to use it over this stone of frost mastery as much as i like my frost damage to be higher it's much better so i'm just gonna put that straight on Bang. And let's also change my thing back to this. Another huge bang right there. Getting closer to level seven. All right, we're pretty much out of time for this episode. Uh, let me just grab this Odin's Raven. So we're on uh, one out of two for Odin's Raven. This will give us 42 total and give us two out of two there. So Alfheim is complete, 100% complete as you can see. Awesome. Um, okay, so yeah, that <laughs> annoyingly I had to redo the fight, but we still did pretty well, um, and I hope I got to show everything off there that I wanted to show. Or oh, I hope you guys yeah, got the what you needed to know from that fight. Okay, next time we head back to Midgard, and we're going to do... I'm actually not sure, I haven't practiced that part, but I think we're going to do a few side quests, uh, side quest type things. Like, um, we're probably going to go defeat these uh, realm tear... One second, there it is. Like, realm tear encounters, that one, that one that one and probably that one as well the one that's behind the uh vanaheim tower i'm not 100 percent sure about but yeah we'll go to a few different places and complete some some uh side quests and all that so yeah i'll, I'll work it out for next time for now i want to thank you all for watching episode 72 of let's platinum god of war my name is ultimate 456 you're the ultimates and i'll see you next time